Hello everyone, it's your man, the TV guy. Now in the last video, we showed you how to update Cinema HD on your MiracleBox 3.0, and it was easy as one, two, three. Now in this video, we're gonna show you how to use Cinema HD on your MiracleBox 3.0. This is a video you don't wanna miss. It's gonna help you safely navigate your movies and TV shows on demand on the MiracleBox in 2019. So don't go anywhere and check out this tutorial. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are inside the Miracle Box 3.0, and hopefully you have your Miracle Box powered on so you can follow along. In this video, we're going to show you how to customize your viewing experience with the Miracle Box when it comes down to movies and TV shows on demand. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to go right into Open Media Center. And for those of you who did not update your Miracle Box with the latest movie resource, which is Cinema HD, Make sure you go back and watch that video or you can click below in the description. I'll put the link there so you can see how to update your Cinema HD to an ad free version. And if you want to, you can visit our website, MiracleBoxHelp.com, and it will give you a tutorial on how to do it as well. If you get stuck, please enter the support ticket and we will give you personal assistance. Give us about 24 to 48 hours to get back with you because, again, we have to schedule around your time and uh, make sure we can actually do it for you. So again, if you don't know how to do it, we can actually do it for you. So let's begin here. Once you open your media center, you're gonna come to this screen here. You're gonna go over three times. One, two, three to the right. And you, today we're gonna cover Cinema HD on how to customize it so that it is pretty much built how you want it to be built. So again, we're gonna go down to Cinema HD. We're gonna press OK. And this is going to load up. Now, one of the things that we can do is we can customize this entire experience in this app. So if you follow along, I'm going to show you some options that you could use to make this experience a little bit more user friendly for you. So let's go all the way over to the left top hand side to the three little lines there. We're going to press OK. And then we're going to go all the way down to the settings menu. We're going to press OK here. And that is gonna open up our settings menu. This is where we can actually customize our experience a lot. So let's go through some of these so you know what they mean. And then we're gonna go through a few other things you can do to prepare yourself for a schedule of things that you wanna watch in your spare time. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your default player is always MX. There are other default players on here if you press okay, but MX is actually the best one. That's gonna give you the best resolution and it's gonna give you the best playback experience. So I would suggest leaving it on MX player unless you wanna to go to Cinema Player, but your experience is not going to be exceptional if you don't use MX Player. So let's get out of that. The next one is choose poster image size. This allows you to choose the size of the images that appear on Cinema HD. So for instance, I'm gonna press return here. You see how the posters are very large. If you like that, then that's cool. I personally like that, but if you don't like that, maybe you wanna, reduce the size and see more. We're gonna go all the way down to settings and I'm gonna show you the different sizes and what they look like. That's large. If you wanna go down to medium, you can press medium. I'm gonna press return. And then how we get that effect to take a place is just switch categories. I'm gonna to switch to movies. And as you see, the icons are smaller. I'm gonna switch it back to TV shows. And as you see, the effect has taken place. So. The thing is you get to see more things at one time, but they're not as big. So again, you have more things on the screen at one time, but again, not as big. But if you prefer this, then you can do that as well. And we're gonna show you what it looks like if you go really, really small, which if you have really good eyesight, you can do that as well, because the icons are gonna be really, really tiny. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like as well. So let's go to make them smaller, show you what that looks like. And so now you have even more icons on the screen. So it gives you the ability to go over and see a lot more at one time. Again, this is all about customizing your experience. So you see all the icons here. So what I'm gonna do is my personal, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is cracking. My personal preference is to have them default at the large because 
I like being able to see the icons from further away. I'm, max, I'm currently on a 65 inch and I want to make sure I can use all the resolution to my TV and see them relatively large. So I'm going to press OK for large. And this is my particular personal preference. So I'm going to go back to movies here and look at that. I just I just like that because it just allows me to see a lot clearer. I don't make any mistakes in what I'm selecting. And again, this is my personal preference. So let's go back over here to settings and we're going to go down to a few more settings here. Now, also, the next one is default play action. So, again, I like to personally leave this alone because I want it to always ask me, do I want to play, play with subtitles, or open with? But if you don't want that, you can choose to just have it play. And this way, it just goes right into plan without having you select that. So let's go into what it looks like when you click on always ask or leave it as default. So if I want to go, I'm going to leave it as always ask. If I go and I go to, I'm going to choose, let's say, glass here. And again, that's going to appear on the screen. What I want to do is I want to wait. And again, with Cinema HD, you always want to scroll down and select underneath the movie. Never, never press that play button. I'm not going to give you the best link. So if I just want to choose this, see, I asked me play, play with subtitles, open with, download. So again, if you want to have those choices constantly, you can actually leave it as is. But if you don't want to have those choices and save a little bit of time, then I'm going to show you what happens if you adjust that setting. So we're going to go up here. I'm going to go back down to settings. And we're going to change it to play. We just want to play it. So we do that, and I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So we go in here. Same thing. I'm going to go all the way to select the stream. We're going to press OK. And it just goes right into plan. It doesn't even like pop up the second menu. So you save a few seconds. You save a lot of uh, uh, at least one uh, button press. So I personally like the fact that it takes me right into play. But if you want to have options, then you can always give yourself options. So let's go back over here under settings. And we're going to go down to. The next one is show aired episodes only. That is going to refer to the TV show category. So let me go over to TV show category. Let me not back out too far. I'm going to change the category down to TV shows. And if I am watching, let's say I'm watching The Passage, which is something I gotten into. But if I want to click on here, then what's going to happen again, it's going to pull it up. And again, remember, one key thing about watching movies is you want to scroll down. That's where your links are going to be at. You want to scroll down. And then this is not going to be direct links. It's actually going to be just the season that you're looking for. So this has one season. So I'm going to press OK. And what it's going to do is going to show me all the episodes I missed. This series started on January 14th. And as I scroll down, the latest one was actually January 11th. So I'm sorry, Fe February 11th. That's the latest one. So if I scroll down even further, then these are episodes that have not aired yet. So again, it lets me know that, okay, the next episode of this will air on February 18th. And the next episode after that will air on February 25th. And as you see, it says not released yet. But it does kind of give you a description of what you can expect. So if you want to remove that option... You can actually go all the way up here and go back to the three lines bar, go down to settings, and we can actually remove that option if we want to. We can say, okay, I just want to see the aired episodes only. And again, let me show you what that looks like. Now that we selected an option, it's only going to show us episodes that have already aired. So now I only have episodes that have already aired. So again, it's your personal preference. For me in particular, I would much rather have the all the episodes that are that would become available. So I would actually change this to my personal preference, which would be to show pretty much everything because I might want to read what's coming up again. So again, all this is personal preference. So I'm going to take this off, but you can check yours if you only want to see the aired episodes. The next one is show HD only. Now, if you only want to see things in high definition, you can press this. It will filter out 
all things that are not high definition. But let me just warn you, you will get less links. And sometimes if you're not into having everything super high definition, then you can click this. And sometimes it will take away movies. So again, there might be movies that are that it searches online. And again, if it's not in HD, then it won't show you. So doing this has a risk and it has a reward. The reward is, hey, you're going to pretty much only get everything that's 720 or higher. But the risk is you're going to get far less workable links. And again, some of the streams are not, they might be high definition, but they're not labeled as high definition. So I would suggest against doing this. I would leave it unchecked because you might miss some quality streams. Now, low profile uh, restart required. Uh, you can actually change the profile of this. I would leave it as is, but you don't have to, but that's my just personal preference. Now we're gonna go down to sorting. You can sort your links in order by size, which I like to do, meaning that you'll have the biggest ones first, and it will just sort the links based on size. And we're gonna go over um, you know, how to stream based on the internet connection you have. Now you have autoplay episodes. Uh, you can actually turn this option on, and this will give you that Netflix experience. So let's say if you are watching TV shows, after one episode goes off, the other one will automatically play next. So that is a good feature to have because you don't have to get up and research the streams or everything. You can actually just turn this on and it will just, you know, play the next episode. And again, is auto next with the first subtitle on list. You can leave that checked or unchecked is, is up, up to your preference. Now, even if you unselect this, when you go into the TV shows, it will then it will still ask you if you want to autoplay. So you can actually do that and it will still autoplay the next episode. So you can either check or uncheck. So I'm going to leave it checked here. And number of links, you can have 10 or you can have more. I would leave it at 10 because you don't want it to, the higher number you go, the longer it's going to take to kick in autoplay. So you can leave it at 10. Whenever, whenever it generates 10 links, it's going to autoplay the episode for you. If you choose 12 or 13, it will wait until it generates 12 or 13, 14 links to autoplay. And that might be a longer wait to get into a TV show. So I would possibly leave it at the lowest number. But again, this is about your personal preference. Now, Real Debrid. Real Debrid is a service that gives you access to more playable links and more HD links. Real Debrid is something that I'm going to cover in another video, but it is a third party service that allows you to be able to enter your real debris account and again you can actually get more links but there is a charge for that service but it will triple or quadruple the amount of playable links you get in my personal opinion for cinema for cinema hd i don't think this is necessary because we get enough links as it is but to each his own <clears throat> Some of you may want more links. And um, again, if I'm getting 30, 40 links, I'm happy with that. But again, there might be some content to where the links are kind of scarce. And if you find that happening, then Real Debrid may give you more links or may just give you more options. So again, you have that. Then you have Track TV, which you can actually put everything into a calendar. That's another service that you can add if you want to. These are not services offered by Miraclebox, but these are just third-party services just to make your experience a little bit more customizable with these apps. Now you have a calendar here. You have subtitles. Now if you want to have subtitles on, you can. If you don't want to have them on, you can actually choose not to have them on. So again, uh, you have your subtitles here. You got the font size. You have English. And again, you have your downloads here. So Again, these are all the things that you have as far as options that you can choose to customize your experience. You can choose a color, you can choose a size. Uh, if you don't want any of them, you can, make the, you can make the size zero so it doesn't show. So again, these are your options. Now let's get into how to actually watch these things, some cool favorites, and this way it'll give you more of an idea. So let's go and use Game of Thrones as an example. So we're gonna press okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to select a season of Game of Thrones. Let's go to season, season eight is not out yet, but let's go to season seven. Let's say Game of Thrones is your favorite thing. All right. You get into your season and you watch your Game of Thrones. What will happen is this. I'm going to show you, like if you go into the first episode, you can press OK. And you see how the autoplay is selected. 
So I don't have to do anything. I just put my remote down, which I did, and it's going to auto play for me. See, I didn't do anything. It just auto plays. It's picking the links for me and I'm going to wait for it to populate and see if it chose a good link. Now, if it did not choose a good link, then that's quite okay. I can go back and choose one myself. So I'm just going to wait for it to kick in. And there's a possibility that sometimes it will not choose a good link. But if you see it kind of going around and around and around, you can have two choices. You can either wait on this or you can say, let me be a little proactive and I'm going to hit the back button and you can actually choose a better link. So let me just try the, try the second one here and see if that's going to give me a good link to play. And actually the second one was a good link. So again, sometimes the autoplay is great. Sometimes if it chooses a link that doesn't play, then you can actually go back and choose one yourself. And again, I chose the link number two, which actually seemed to come in pretty easy. So that is kind of how to navigate. Now, if you find that you like this and you want to add it to your favorites, you see a little heart right here. If you click that, this will put this in your favorites menu inside of Cinema HD. So you don't have to go back through and look for it again. You can actually go all the way over and anything you put in favorites will show up in favorites. So now that's Game of Thrones. I click the heart, it's in favorites and you can unclick, you can click the heart again to take it out of favorites. So now you can put favorites in here. So if I'm lining up what I wanna watch, I will put all my TV shows that I like to watch into favorites so that when I do watch something, it's there and it's readily available for me. So I'm gonna get out of this here. And what about movies? So movies are pretty much cut and dry. They're pretty simple. There's not episodes of movies. Movies is a one click play. So if I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna choose a movie, let's say I wanna choose you know, Aquaman. So I'm gonna press okay. And again, you always wanna scroll down. I'm gonna talk about links here. Now, if you have internet speed and it's under 15 megabytes, then I'm gonna teach you something here a little bit. You really don't wanna go into the high gig. So if I'm under 15 megabytes, then what I wanna do is I wanna get anything that's pretty much uh, under 1.5 gigs. So again, if I'm under 15 megabytes or at 15 megabytes, then this might be a better link for me to play. Now you can play some links, but it might just struggle to load. So again, um, I have about 100 megabytes. So at 100, I have more choices because I have higher internet speed. So I'm gonna choose this link here and I'm gonna just see if this link kicks in and play. And so it actually plays right off the bat, high definition. So that's because I have a higher speed. Now, if you don't have higher speed, you can click into the lower ones and it kicks and it plays in right off the bat. So again, that's Aquaman. So keep in consideration that based on your speed, you're gonna have to choose the size of the links. I'm gonna go back in here again, just to show you what I mean. So based on your speed, you're gonna to have to choose pretty much the size of the links. And you see they have so many here. This is why I say you really don't need real debris or anything for this because you get so many links. Now, if you want more 1080p links, real debris might be something that you may wanna look into, but don't worry, I'm gonna do a video review um, coming up pretty soon on it. But as you see, links are pretty much still loading here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I got 17 streams to get this movie. So more than likely, I am going to get this movie. And you already saw me get it anyway. So basically, the longer you let it sit, the more links populate. So again, I'm happy with the 1080p. I don't need uh, you know anything higher than that. That's, that's pretty good for me. So folks, this is pretty much how to use Cinema HD. If you, if you want to search for stuff, there is a little hourglass here or a little magnifying glass here that allows you to search. So let me go all the way up and show you how to use that. So there's a little magnifying glass here. And if you want to search for something, if you have a keyboard mode, you can type it in. So let's say if I want to search for Batman, I don't have to scroll through all this stuff. I can sit here and just type in whatever I want to search for. And I can search for Batman by just simply typing it in and it will find my request. So I'm going to type in Batman here. I'm going to press search. And now I got everything related to Batman, all of it. I can go and see anything Batman. I can go see the old show. 
I can go see the new show. I can go see whatever. It is all the Batmans that are probably out here on the internet somewhere. So anything that is Batman-ish or Batman, then I have it here. So again, you can use the advanced search feature to bring you Pacific results so you because you don't want to spend all day scrolling that's going to be pretty much a waste of your time so again if you find something that you want to watch I would say put it in your favorites and fill up your favorite folders with your schedule of TV shows and movies that you want to watch so when it comes down time to watching it when you have a day off from work or you have time to relax you want to already have your stuff set up so you can actually be ready to rock and roll now also There is a category search as well. So let's say if I want to go to movies, I have some categories here. That's at the top here. And if I hit this arrow, I can actually go down to different categories here. So if you like Westerns, you click on Westerns, it's going to bring you all the Westerns, man. It's going to, oh man, taking me back to Clint Eastwood here. The good, the bad, the ugly. So you got your Westerns here, all Westerns. If you just want to have a Western night and just see some cowboy movies, you can do that. And then again, there's more uh, things such as documenting, such documentary, music, romance. There's family. So if you want to have a family friendly experience, you got kids, you want to keep them occupied. I mean, this is a good family movie thing that you can watch with the whole family. And again, the categories are right up here for you to go through at least one by one. You got history stuff. I mean, it's just a lot of options here. And again, under TV show, there's the same thing. You can go up to the arrow. You can choose trending, you can choose popular on air, you can choose animation. I mean, you know, this is pretty much at your disposal. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how to navigate through Cinema HD. I pretty much covered everything. So this should give you a better idea on how you can search, how you can do favorites, how you can change options. We pretty much covered everything there is to know about how to use this app. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. If this video was helpful, leave a comment in the description and let us know if we if we helped you use this and also do not forget to subscribe to this channel because we're going to be giving away some really cool prizes to for subscribers so make sure you subscribe make sure you share this video and again ladies and gentlemen we thank you for being loyal miracle box subscribers and we want to say thank you to all of our customers for being loyal miracle box customers thank you so much we'll see you next video Make sure you subscribe.